a Here's the situation at Rockingham. The eighth yellow of the, fly, of the race is now being displayed over the racetrack. The reason for the yellow, a crash involving the driver who was leading this race, Jeff Bodine. The car coming in contact with the wall in turn number two. It is stopped on the backstretch. There is a massive amount of debris strewn throughout this uh, second turn and backstretch area, so it will take the track officials a little bit of time to clean up the mess. Out of the race in the Carolina 500, several of these cars were eliminated last week. The top four were. Ernie Klein dropped out. So did Dave Marcus, Dale Earnhardt, and Buddy Baker. Then when things began this afternoon, the first driver out of the race with a crash was Joe Rutman in car number 98. Other cars out of the race, Terry Labonte, Slick Johnson, Jeff Bodine, and Ronnie Thomas. And the spectators continue to watch the activity here, and we have a lot more racing action to bring you. 407 laps have been completed. We'll be back to racing in just a moment. The yellow is still out, and this is the reason why it occurred a few laps ago to Jeff Bodine, who was leading at the time. Well, Bodine losing control in turn number two. Theory, perhaps a tire equalizing, meaning the air going down, and Jeff not getting the bite that he'd been getting. It is the line that Jeff had been running for about the last 30 laps when he was out there racing at full speed and really bearing in the rest of the field. It looked like Bodine uh, had this one in his hip pocket, but there you see how it ended. Lots of debris coming off that race car as the Armco Steel here really doing a lot of damage to the sheet metal on the left driver's side of the car again. Jeff is okay. We anticipate a green this time around as we look at the battered car of Jeff Bodine. Jeff is okay. Talked with Dick Bergman just a few minutes ago. Pace car is in. 200, rather 413 laps are about to be completed, and the green flag is displayed once again. The leader of the race, King Richard Petty, in the number 43 STP Pontiac. Right behind him is Neil Bonnet. Third place belongs to Bill Elliott. Fourth is Cale Yarborough, and fifth place is Darrell Waltrip. Those five cars on the lead lap, sixth place, one lap down, is Ricky Rudd. Richard Petty with 79 laps to go is the leader of this race. And the caution flag lasted long enough that it should be enough to take everybody home on the load of fuel they have right now. This could be just nothing more than a five-car sprint for about 80 laps. Now, if that's the case, this could be a real humdinger. Remember how strong Bill Elliott looked about 20 laps ago. There's Petty right now. He's leading the race. Bonnet runs in second position. Richard, of course, a six-time winner of this race. He's won 10 times in his career at this racetrack. Hasn't led all that much today. Matter of fact, this may well be the first time he's been at the Vanguard. There's Bonnet, who's done a lot. He runs in second. Third place in line is Lake Speed, a lap down. And fourth place is Bill Elliott. How strong is Elliott? We have had eight different leaders of this race. Look how close Neil Bonnet is to the back end of that Pontiac as they go down the back stretch. But Richard Petty is able to stave off the challenge of Neil Bonnet. Now the car's headed into turn number three. Neil Bonnet looking to the inside of Richard Petty. Here they come off of the fourth turn onto the trioval. And Neil Bonnet falls alongside Richard Petty. But Petty still has the advantage as they go into turn number one. Meanwhile, Bill Elliott is moving quickly. He's closing in quickly on Neil Bonnet now as they go down the back stretch. There is Bill Elliott in third position. It's a three-car race and a dandy finish setting up here. Richard Petty. Neil Bonnet and number nine, Bill Elliott. And Cal Yarbrough is also within striking distance. Yarbrough is in fourth in the race, fifth in line. You'll probably see him just shortly. Let's look at the first three and talk about them a little bit. Petty, the crafty one. Remember all those victories at Daytona? Most of them were a result of strategy rather than pure raw speed on the racetrack. Can he employ some tricky strategy today here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this one's going to be a horsepower race. In second position, that's the charger, Bonnet. Look at Bonnet right on Petty's back bumper. And what about young Bill Elliott? Would you call him conservative? Well, not really. Let's say that Elliott is a little more calculating than Bonnet and Petty at least has been in the last couple of years. So there basically is a taste of the personality of those three guys up front. Well, the fourth and third place, Bill Elliott, uh, as they came off of turn number four onto the triangle, looked high and then looked low. 
trying to get around Neil Bonnet, but could not do it. We'll see his strategy here in turn number four again. Again, he is high coming off of that turn. Now Neil Bonnet moving to the inside of Richard Petty as they cross the start-finish line, but Petty still able to maintain the lead. Richard Petty, Neil Bonnet, and Bill Elliott are very close together on the racetrack and battling for position. 74 laps to go in this Carolina 500 at Rockingham. 143 laps were completed last week before it rained. We picked up the race at lap 144 today. We have had two accidents, one involving Joe Rettman, the other Jeff Bodine, neither driver injured. It's been a very magnificent race on a beautiful spring afternoon in Southern North Carolina. Career victories, there is 195 with number 43. Bonnet has 11, number nine, Elliott. Still looking for the first one. Petty voted the most popular driver nine times in this division. You'll see more Petty Blue and SD Blue Day Glow Orange hats than any other in the field or other, any other in the crowd. He's still the most popular driver. They call him King and for good reason. Battle continues down the back stretch. There's a close up look at Richard Petty. He's been driving, in fact, has a lifetime obligation to STP. Neil Bonnet pursuing him. There they are coming out of the tri-oval. They're side by side. Bonnet and Petty. Will Bonnet try to make the move into turn number one? They're still side by side. And through turn number one now, Neil Bonnet inches ahead. Bonnet has him, takes over the lead. Now we'll watch Bill Elliott down the back stretch. Can he move around Petty and go into second place? Yes, he does. So now it's Bonnet, Elliott, and Richard Petty in that order. And right behind Petty is Cale Yarborough. There are your top four. Elliott had to make the move because Yarborough was closing in. It was obvious that Petty, at least, was running slower than Yarborough. Now, there's a possibility that once Bonnet and Elliott get away from Petty, they're going to be able to pull away from Yarborough. But to be sure, Richard is not as fast as Kale. So Elliott had to make the move, and he did it. It didn't look like he had enough room or had given himself enough time, Bob, but he pulled it off. Just uh, to keep you updated on some of the other things going on, Bobby Allison, who was in the pit area for a long time, is back out there in competition, but way off the pace. So Neil Bonnet is the leader now. And the second place Bill Elliott cars, those two head into turn number two. Richard Petty is indeed dropping back as he now falls to fourth. Cale Yarborough's been able to pass him. Yarborough in third, Petty back into fourth. And, Yar and uh, Petty is definitely slowing down on the racetrack. Now, Darrell Waltrip is also in the back of this pack of about 10 cars that's setting the pace. We've had different reports as to whether or not Waltrip is or is not on the lead lap. We now believe that he is. So Waltrip is not showing his colors, the new yellow, white, red trim up front. But keep in mind, we still do have about 70 laps to go. There's Neil Bonnet, the race leader. And Waltrip uh, still may have something left, although he really doesn't look like it at this point. And now the leaders move up on some of the back markers, some of the slower traffic. As they move through the tri-oval here, Neil Bonnet, Bill Elliott, and Cale Yarborough, one, two, three on the racetrack. Off of the second turn onto the back stretch now. Neil Bonnet in a car sponsored by the owner of this racetrack and the race for whom it is named, Warner Hodgson, the National Engineering Chevrolet. Look at the competition here through the trioval. Cale Yarborough diving low, trying to make a move on Bill Elliott, unable to do so, and they continue to run in the same order, but a move there by Cale Elliott. Sideways as they went into one, and that gave Cale Yarborough the opportunity he needed. Down the back stretch, Yarborough goes into second position. Well, Cale was right behind Bill. You know, Bob, I think that Elliott's got the fastest car out there. He may not be sticking to the racetrack as good as Bonnet and Yarborough, but I really think he's showing the most horsepower muscle. We'll see how it's played. Remember, drafting at this racetrack will not give you the victory in the final lap, or at least in most instances it will not. You ask all the drivers where do they want to be at the North Carolina Motor Speedway in Rockingham on the white flag, and they'll tell you up front. The average speed of the race, 136.66 miles an hour. May make that 112.520 miles an hour. The race has taken a minute six minutes to uh, run so far 112.520 miles an hour and Cale Yarborough now moves back into the lead as he's able to pass Neil Bonnet and the driver who we saw a few laps ago what appeared to be a, a sick race car and a driver falling back has now stepped on the gas once again and the very crafty Cale Yarborough moves back into the lead 
Well, if Elliott has anything left, or if he wants to win this race, he's going to have to dispose of Bonnet soon because Yarborough is getting ready to take off. Richard Petty was reading, leading this race just a few laps ago, but has slowed considerably. We'll get a reason why from Dick Bergeron. Well, the reason is that Richard Petty is just cruising out there, and his crew says that with this number of laps left in the race, they don't want to waste the car. They're just taking it easy in order to come on real strong at the end where it counts. Well, that's an interesting observation. Uh, we will see how far can Richard Petty is behind the leader. Oh, he really isn't very far. In fact, he's right on the back buffer of Bill Elliott, who is running in third position. So there is second, third, and fourth. Let's we zoom in and follow the fourth place, Richard Petty. There are the first four, and we should have an exciting finish. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more from Rockingham.